Okay, so today's session we are going to discuss about the editable template. But before that, we have to discuss what does it mean by the template first. Okay, so template is nothing but your layout, or you can say just simple and markup, or you can say just simple and structure. Okay, so this is just simple and one structure. This structure will use to create a page. So for creating a page, we need a template. So consider this one is your page and this one is your template. In your AEM, so if you want to create a page, so for that we need a template. That's it. And to create a page, we need a template. And template simply define the structure of the resultant page. So this is the page. Maybe inside this page we have a header, or maybe we have a footer, or we have a body. So all this stuff. it has coming from your templates only okay so basically we have a two types of template first of all static template and the editable template uh, so static now nowadays it are deprecating so mostly we are 99% we are using this editable template only okay so this is the project we have created okay uh, yesterday we have created this project so inside that this all these pages maybe Uh, so this is the project we have created, and here automatically that folder structure it has created. Okay, so this is the content, and after that here we have vital. Sorry, not a vital. Which one is our that search software folder? So this folder structure will automatically create. Okay, so all these pages. So here we have a US and the EN. These pages it has created by using the editable template only. So this uh, search sites US and the EN, these pages it has created by using a editable template. So how we know that this pages is created by using a editable template? So once you will open, okay. So in the left hand side, okay, this is the options of the opening. Like click here and just open it. It takes some time. Okay. So here in this page information, here you see we have options of the editable template. so when you will open the page and after that you will get this option that means you are seeing this option that means this is nothing but your editable template okay so static template we have to create manually but editable template content author will create see here developer will create the editable templates here okay so if you want to create an editable template you have to create all these stuffs manually so this is the stuff we have to create manually but when we are using a when we want to create an editable templates so template author will create and here uh, this is the id that means i am a developer i am a developer so i am responsible for creating a editable uh, sorry static template okay come here and here we have a difference between static and editable why we have introduced the concept of editable template we are saying now so first of all whatever i am creating in a crxd whatever i am creating inside the crxd that means we are a developer okay so only developer can create a static template but in our editable templates okay template author will create okay template author will create a template so developer phase is not involved here after that so developer add component which are available on the resultant page after creations okay so developer only the responsible for adding the components okay and this component can be removed that means so consider you have created a template and here is the developer responsibility to add a components and after that when you are using a page by using this template you are creating uh, you are creating a page by using this template so in future we can delete this one we can uh, delete this component as well but when we are discussing about this uh, uh, this uh, editable template that means you can delete or you cannot delete you can be delete or you cannot remove the pages like when you have created this editable template and here we have a components okay so this components you can delete it or if you haven't locked if you have an unlock it then you cannot delete this one you cannot delete this okay third different it retains the dynamic connection so firstly we'll understand just come here so first of all if you want to create an editable template you need a template type template type you need
okay template type we needed for creating this editable template that's it and by using this editable template you can create a page okay but now i just want to create a simple static template so for creating a static template firstly we'll need a static template and directly we need a page so this is the static template and here we have a page okay so once it will create it see it returns a dynamic connection between this template and this page okay in this template and this page it will it returns a dynamic uh, sorry static connection it will return that means whatever you have returning here okay whatever you have uh, that means you have added the component inside the static template and in future you are trying to change from here okay so it's not possible why because it is a static content so if you change something from here it's not reflected to your page okay but the same thing when we are using a editable template like some of the content we have added and we have created this page not only this page consider we have created thousand pages okay and from this thousand pages i have written one text okay and instead of text now i'll just want text one in this thousand pages as well so you can just simply come here in this editable template and you can just simply change it okay you can just simply change from this text to text one so it returns the dynamic connection so whatever you will change all these changes will reflect to this thousand pages as well okay and this is the template type so by using this template type only we'll create this editable template so this template type is nothing but the static template only okay static template and in that static template we are using this editable template that means some extra functionality we are going to add so basically uh, this will attach your component so basically we are using this uh, template type it for the component adding okay let's see how we can create a template so just simple come here okay we have to go to our uh, welcome page okay i just came here and uh, here we have a tools options and here we have a configuration browser in our general we have a configuration browser just click there so keep in mind now i'm just going to create only the folder structure for editable template just try to create here so once you will create you will see the options of this editable template now i'm just going to create a folder structure of editable template so here i'm just a uh, folder structure folder structure of editable template that's it and just i have defined this and i have clicked here and create it we know is that whatever i'm just creating in this configuration browser so it will store inside this con folder just try to refresh it you will see somewhere see this is the folder structure of editable template and it has created this folder structure as well automatic automatically okay but if i'm trying to see like here we don't have any template okay and here we don't have any template types as well okay so how we can create a template types under template so if you want to create a template you have to simply come here just go back tools so we have created a folder structure inside this configuration browser now we want to create a template so you have to come in this template click here so once you will click here so you will see the folder structure that means whatever you have created you have to click here okay once you will click now inside that we are going to create a template editable template so once you will click here creates here two template it has coming this is not a template what is that this is the template type and i have already mentioned for creating this editable template you need a template type so they have provided this out of the box these are nothing but but uh, out of the box uh, template types okay but how your sling will execute this all the stuff see here in our am we have a sling for responsible to execute everything okay so now how directly this out of the box editable that means out of the box template type it has coming and from where it has coming 
so firstly when when we have created the folder structure first of all your sling will come here and it will find so we don't have any template type inside this see we don't have any template types okay so after that after that it will find first of all in your folder okay but we don't have inside our folder so later that it will go to uh, your conf and global so come here here we have a inside this conf we have one global and later that settings and after that we don't have here wcm option see just like this settings we have but we don't have any wcm options that means we don't have inside this third thing if it is not find out there then it will go to your apps it will go to your apps settings wcm and template types so here we have apps just go inside your uh, setting somewhere we have to find the settings yeah this is the setting and here we have a wcm and template types we have but here also we don't have any template types so this is the jcr colon content it's related to this template type and this is just simple and policy so here also we don't have so later that at the last we have a lips okay it will come to your lips and it will try to find out the setting where it is so this one is the setting later that it will try to find out the wcm here is the wcm and later that here we have a template types so when i have opened this so it is showing two template types so html5 page and this adaptive form page so we have these two template types come here and here you see here this html5 and this adaptive form so both template it's here only okay but this is the out of the box now if you want to create your own template type how we can create it so it's a little bit complicated so for that you can just simply do one thing firstly we have to understand where we will create a folder structure here only okay and they have inside this con so they have already provided one uh, vretail okay vretail settings and uh, wcm we have and here we have a template types so we have a lot of template types here okay so you can just simply copy any one any one template type you can just simply copy okay once you have copied come here in this uh, conf where you want to create so here in this template type i just want to create it okay so this is my folder structure no here i just simply want to create so you can just right click and paste it that's it okay but here we have a uh, two or three things so once you will open this is the structure of your template type okay inside your template type so in this template type you have a uh, three things first one is the initial these are the modes initial we have a structure okay and after that uh, we have a uh, policies okay policies we have later that we have a thumbnail as well okay so this four things we have okay so keep in mind this one this initial and this structure it will create by using a page this two it will create by using a page but when i'm just clicking here template type and after that this is my initial and all this information it will store inside this jcr colon content so here you see it has created by using this page so whenever you will see this sling resource type that means it has created this by using by using this path and this path is nothing but your page only okay so it has created by using this vertical but we don't want this vertical which one we want we want our own so where it is this one is ours okay and uh, here somewhere i have create i have already created so this is the page we have okay this is the page we have you can just simply copy copy this one come here and just simply paste it so once you will create this project automatically this page will present this page will present firstly so this is only the page i have copied and you can just simply rename it 
it is able template page i have created okay so this is the this is the page i have created simply and uh, here this page is created by using this out of the box page so here we have a core and this is the out of the box so using that we have created this page and after that here we have a jcr colon title you can just remove it and you can just exam uh, page title this is the page title so you can just simply save it okay so we have created the page now you can just simply click here and copy this path this is the path we have to copy okay just simply remove the yeah and here we have to go inside our cons and here we have a init gcr content so instead of that we have to write our own and you can just simply remove this apps that's it now i'm just telling like this is my template types okay all your template type will store here but it is impossible that means it will take a lot of time for creating this all this stuff manually that's why they have provided very little you can just simply copy you can just simply copy and you can just simply paste in your own folder so i have done this one after that here this is nothing but the pages okay so this is just simple and notes and it has creating by using a pages okay so that's why i have created the page okay this is the page i have created okay before it was rendering from your vritel so i have changed to this my own page so just come here come up and uh, here we have created our own page that is component and from that i am just i have created my own page and i'm just giving this path only okay and uh, i have already told you so this initial and the structure it has created by using a page so we have to mention the page so in our initial we have already mentioned now we have to change to this structure as well see in this structure so you can just simply remove it okay and instead of we have to remove this apps and this search okay so no need to mention here absolute path you can also mention here relative path as well so the same thing i'm doing here i have mentioned as a relative path so now our template type has created now by using this template type we have to create the page okay sorry by template type we have to create now template so just refresh it see this is the page it has coming now okay so but here we have this very little empty page this is the title and this one is a description now i just want to change it come here in this template type here we have click here okay so for this for this template type all this information it will store in this jcr colon content and here we have a title so custom template type i am just mentioning example of template type that's it you can just simply save it come here now and just try to refresh see here custom template type and example of template type and this is the thumbnail you can change the thumbnail as well you can just simply come here and next now so now i'm just creating a editable template by using a template type okay so you can just name it editable template dash demo that's it and just simply create done here do you see now we have created a editable template so this is the editable template we have created but uh, right now is in draft state that may it has created but you cannot use anywhere so for that we have to enable so how we can enable it you can just simply enable here okay we have enable it now you can open so just click here okay so we have open this editable template and by default we have only one container okay so only one container we have so just come here 
in the structure we have only root okay so it is using this one okay so only one uh, root we have that means we can say only one containers we have okay and uh, here we have a thumbnail as well okay and the last we have a policies policies also we have so just simply come here so once you will create a editable template there we have a three modes first one we have a structure later initial content and the layout so i have discussed already one thing like you can delete if you want you can remove the content or you cannot remove the content so this is all because of this structure mode so once you have inserting anything so this is the parsis component this is nothing nothing but the parsis this is only a component it allows you to insert more than one component okay so that's why we are using this parsis and this component is as present inside this layout container here you see so if you are adding something okay so here we have firstly we have to give a permission so we haven't given a permission see just come here uh, now i'm just trying to insert i'm just clicking here and i'm just trying to insert something so it's not showing a insert option here inside that it's not showing a insert options so you can just simply click here okay and here we have options of the policies what does it mean by these policies now okay so here we have one different in a static template here we have a concept of the static template see static template uses a design node okay so if you want to give a permission to your components components so it has uses one design dialog that means like this dialog it has uses and after that we have to select this component okay but here editable template uses the policies if you want to allows the component then you have to use the policies here so you have to click and you have to select okay all your component we have to select from here so here maybe we have a 27 or something components we have inside the general so i'm just selecting that one see 29 components we have later that you can just simply right check mark it but before it we have to define the name of our policy so for i'm just simply writing here policy only okay now just try to refresh it okay so now here we have options of the insert before it was the options only for the parent but now we are seeing the options of the insert as well so you can just insert the content okay you can just insert one container okay so what i'm doing here is firstly understand this structure once i'm just adding a content you cannot remove this content you cannot remove that component okay but when i will unlock you can uh, remove it but before that i am creating two components now here you see i am coming here in my crxd where is my project yeah this one is my project inside this component i am creating two component first one that is header second one is a footer okay so i am just taking any component so just like this hello world i am just taking you can just simply copy come here and just paste it uh, right click here and just try to rename it so once you will rename here we have to change this header okay so here i have created this header and after that once you have renamed this one this name you should have to rename this one as well that means this scripting otherwise you want see the data so here header okay so that's it after that we have to change the name okay so here uh, i just have written here header and it has present inside this 
search site content this is nothing but the policy keep in mind this one i'll tell you this later okay so header we have created just like the same we have to create a footer so just come here right click and just simply paste it so now where is the footer okay so this is we have to rename it and i'm just giving a name that is footer we have created a footer now we have to rename this one okay footer and here instead of header i'm just writing footer there okay so this is the component i have written now just uh, created now simply once we have created this component now this component i need here but for that we have to give a permission first of all so for that we have to go inside this policies okay and whatever here you are saying this check boxes these are nothing but your groups component group okay and what is our com now what we need we need a footer and the header header and footer we needed and what is the group what is the component group for the header and the footer so here we have a search sites content so you have to come here and you just simply have to search that one search sites content just select this and just right check mark that's it come here and now we have to search here header first of all not coming we have to refresh yeah so we got this header you have to click here so inside this header this content it has coming why because once you will go inside header this is the header double click in this script and you will see this content because of this content it has coming there this one this header after that now i need a body so i'm just adding their container so one container i'm just adding and after that this is nothing but the container inside this container you can add more than one component is up to you and at the last i'm just adding this footer okay so you will see once you will open any page any website so header and the footer are fixed you cannot change these things okay after that but uh, maybe some images and text it may be a change but we cannot change this header this hello what component that means header and this is the footer so instead of that i am just simply removing these stuffs and here i am just adding what is that this is the header so i am just adding here header save the changes save the changes after that we have a footer click here double click control s and h1 save the changes come here and just try to refresh now you will see the header and footer only see you are saying header and the footer okay so this is the structure mode okay what i'm saying here is once you will unlock that means here we have options of the unlock okay so once you will unlock then it will present in your initial content here there you can right now when i am clicking here you are seeing this header and the footer but you cannot change it okay you can you cannot change it and you cannot delete this one but when i will unlock then you can add the content inside this or you can change it okay so this is the structure now we have now i'm just going to add here title okay before that we'll simply do one thing now we have created uh, this editable template now our main concept is we are going to create a page by using this editable template so where we can create a page here only in this sites in the sites we have options of creating a page so just click here and after that create and page see so lot of it is showing so these are nothing but your editable uh, sorry your editable templates okay 
by using we have to create a template type sorry we have to create a page so from where this all these things it has coming from where these pages and this editable template it has coming so you for that you can just simply come here click here and here we have options of the properties so i have given a permission there that's why it has coming here we have options of the advanced here it is so you can simply remove this okay so if i'm removing now i'm just trying to save and i'm just going there click here and just try to create a page you won't see only one page and this is the out of the box okay but what we need we need this our own editable template and we know that where it has stored inside this con okay so this is the template we need so for that you have to click here and copy this copy this come here go back click here and after that here we have options of the properties advanced and instead of that again add one and just simply paste it and this is the thing we have this is the expressions we have to paste it and save and close so once you will save and close click here now try to create and here we have options of this page now you will see your own template types that means editable template using that now you can create your page so template template page test i have written now simply create now done see here now this is the page i have created inside this search site okay and this page it has created by using this editable template now i just want to see what is that inside this page so we have already discussed this editable template is nothing but the resultant page for your so resulting page so come here see what we have header and the footer we have so that's why you are saying here header and the footer but you cannot change this and here we are not seeing the container so why we are not seeing the container so for that you can just simply click here and unlock it so once you will unlock once you will unlock you will come here and try to refresh it now you will see the container see this is the container you are saying now when you will click here you can add you can add whatever you want but it's not showing this insert option insert option it's not showing so for that you have to give a permission that means in component you have to insert it you can click this general you can name it anything so now we have given a permission just come here and try to refresh it once again here we have options of the plus now then you can add anything whatever you want okay this title or something otherwise don't add from here because this is the page okay you can just simply add it this con all this content from your template type so title we have added where is the title this one okay and simply unlock it now we have unlocked the changes see so once you will unlock these changes now you can edit these changes okay no you can simply edit these changes come here this is the structure now come here as well now when i just refresh it you will see the title yeah this is the title now if you want to change the title you can change it demo of editable template that's it now title has changed okay so this is the thing about a editable template if you are having any issue just comment it thank you